Hello everyone, my name is John Melisono and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. Um, today I'm going to paint a village. You can see houses, old houses here and also a pathway. And please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications, my new videos and tutorials. Okay, so you can see all the materials need on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we need, and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm going to do first the underpainting. So I will fill this uh, first with the colors before I'm going to sketch. So it's a new way. <laughs> okay, so I have here the number, I think it's number 10. Nylon flat brush, gonna use bigger than this because uh, canvas is bigger. I'm, going, I'm using the 12 by 16, and you can use bigger if you have, but I'm just I'll just use this one. I have here some red and yellow to make some orange and then white. Yeah, I want the, again an afternoon landscape. Yeah, my, my canvas a little rough. I, I forgot to put uh, water before I start. I should have sprayed it with water. Everyone. You can spray it with water so that uh, it will become not so rough. It will become not uh, rough like this. Sometimes uh, a canvas is hard to paint, especially when I think the gesso uh, is not enough to put a uh, little amount of queso. There. I'm going to try to mix uh, purple, blue, and red. And then white. Then after the scene run. Yeah, maybe in the part I'll try to but uh, don't put it too much again because uh, some parts uh, we have to cover maybe I'll try to put some light blue on the top on the top part here So I like the light and uh, the light color of or the light sky blue here because uh, it's very very look like a pastel. Then I have to blend a little here. Actually I will cover some parts here so it doesn't matter how good I blend this part. So I will just cover but it's okay. I have to do it. Yeah, I will not focus so much on the sky everyone because some parts I have to cover. I just have to blend it good like that. Okay. I think that's good enough. And I have to use a little lighter purple in the bottom part. So my canvas is uh, rough. Forget to put water when I start. You can put a little water, everyone, so that I, uh, it will be not hard for you to drag your brush. Ok, 
okay and then I'll try to put colors here I'm gonna use this wonder I have to fill everything with this romber. Gotta add a little water to make it wet. some some paris there it's okay and you can also blend if you want like this Okay, so I think I'm done with the underpainting. Uh, we're gonna let it dry first for at least five minutes and then uh, we're gonna go back adding some more details. I can start now sketching after this. Okay, so let it dry. Okay, everyone, so I think the paint is already dry now and I'm going to start adding uh, first the sketch. I'm going to do the sketch uh, to the for the houses and also to the backgrounds. Okay. So I'm going to start now the sketching. I will be using a smaller brush. I have here the number two nylon flat brush. It's a smaller brush. It's the smallest flat brush I have. You can also you can use any size, everyone, as long as it's small and it's uh, good enough for this. Okay. So I have the raw umber. I'm gonna use this one for the sketching. Okay. I'm going to put the house here. maybe here actually I I tried to do the, some practice for this one just for the sketch everyone I'm using my uh, graphic tablet or pen tablet uh, it's easier to create a concept on this tablet to here this will be a uh, pathway I'll try, I'll try to put a pathway here. This will be the house. So, uh, here everyone for the roof, it should be a little slant like that because uh, we need always to to put the perspective this one should be bigger than this one this one is smaller yeah this will be a rectangle it's a side of the house and we should always do like that there a little higher okay So it will be like this. Yeah. I will try to adjust. So 
so this will be the roof here yeah you can adjust can make it a little smaller here because I want the roof to be much more emphasized okay and then I'm going to put the channel I mean chimney here also I need to put some perspective there okay so at least there's a perspective here so we should uh, put a little slant here and also the other side here that's how we're gonna create perspective Okay, there's a chimney and can put a window here. This house will be made of rock, solid rocks, old houses, something like that. Okay, so that's, that's it. I'm going to put another house here. But I want this house to be on this part. Again, I'm going to put some perspective there, a little slant. I'm going to divide with two. Yeah. here I'm going to add some gap it's a overhang and then another perspective here on the other side it will be a little slant Also here I'm going to put something something at house design there at least we can see a little design here Okay, and then I uh, can put a chimney, something like this here, bigger or something there. Okay, so this is the second house. I also want to put another house, but uh, here I'll try to put some pine trees on the back. Yeah, maybe something like that. Maybe some trees here. Or maybe some pine trees we can put any trees and I will try to put another house here 
that will be a little far and it should be smaller Maybe here. I'll try to put a random things like houses or something. I'll put some trees or whatever we're gonna put here. It, it will be fine. Okay, so we have now like uh, some village houses, old house. Okay, also, I will start now adding some details maybe I will do this one first before we not do everything here so this one I will not let that light will, will hit on this part maybe on this part only but here it will be dark so this one will be the focus of my light this house here this house here and everything we here I'm gonna make it very very bright and here and this part will be dark I want this part to be really dark mm -hmm. maybe some trees on the far or maybe I will try to put some mountains here it will be good okay so that will be my plan and I'm going to start now I will be using a bigger brush uh, I have here the number eight bristle flat brush it's a medium size flat brush and this is good for uh, bigger areas okay so I have the raw umber blue and the red so it looks like a purple or dark purple everyone I'm using it instead of black so I'm going to make it dark first some raw umber maybe I'll do this one first on the top I'll use again some raw umber with some white have to fill everything here So it's dark now. Yeah, it looks good.
everything should be made of rock everyone so I'll try to make this made of rock yeah I will make that a little lighter using the raw umber uh, with a little blue I think So, uh, this part of one make it a little darker because I uh, know light hitting that part. There. Okay. And this part here, just need to try. Okay. And then maybe I will do first on the on this part on the top. make it uh, very bright so red and a little yellow and then white more yellowish and then some blue umber more white Okay. Yeah. And then I will try to put more uh, yellowish or orange maybe here. This is the top of the roof of one. There. So that, that back part will be the chimney. And using this lighter umber, a little bluish, I will try to create some lights or highlights on this uh, chimney here on the top part. Okay, yeah, so it looks like old uh, now. There. Now I will use again this raw umber with some white. I'll try to put some design or details on the roof uh, to be like an old process or nipa. So I'm using the flat brush. You can use also round brush for this uh, job here.
Okay. Ano sa hair? You can use the small brush, everyone. If it's hard for you. Actually, it's also hard for me. Because I'm using my right hand on the other side. I should be on the other side, but it's okay. I'll be use, making it uh, smaller, little by little. So it's a little wet. Mm, anyway, it's fine. It's a little lighter, but it's okay. Okay, so I think it's uh, still wet, but uh, for now it will be good uh, uh, like that. Okay, so I'll try to put another detail here. Try to make it a little lighter, maybe here. Okay, so I'll just add a little detail everyone, like this. I'll just uh, scratch or adding a little lights. Because I'm gonna put some details on that that will look like uh, rocks. So I will now try to use a smaller brush, round brush, to create much uh, smaller details with the raw umber. So I'll be using a raw umber everyone to create cups. a little darker So just a little detail everyone uh, to make it look like uh, rocks maybe this uh, also part I'm going to make it uh, like some cement I'll put as good details as possible as I could.
so you can see now everyone that uh, they are very good details for the for the wall looks like uh, look like uh, rocks made of rocks and also here so make sure everyone that uh, this part is not so light always remember that because this part should be dark because my light is coming from the back of this uh, house so it should be dark there but I want to put uh, so good details here I don't want to stay it that way okay so I'll try to see it uh, on a distance yeah I think that looks good looks like now uh, there's a good details, amount of details, even on, the, on this house. And it looks pretty good, it looks realistic. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I'll try to put something, details on the uh, window. It will be like a French window, something. But I'll just make it uh, like a wood, middle of wood, like a light brown. too light with uh, umber So window everyone maybe I will try to put some reflections there okay maybe some light blue color for the sky yeah but it should be looking dark everyone so maybe just light purple and get a little darker a random light here for the for the window I think it's good yeah I don't need to make it uh, emphasize but uh, it's up to me later on if I have time to retouch everything and I'll try to retouch so I have here again the umber with the white I'll try to put some maybe wood here Get a little darker. Yeah, just a random uh, details to make it look more realistic. I'm going to put some. 
yeah, something like that, some shades. Okay, yeah, looks good now. Okay, so I'm going to put now the, I think I'll just put a little mountain here. Just far mountain ruin, um, it should be, look like misty mountain. I need to clean my brush. Make sure that you clean your brush good. Okay, and I have here, the blue and the red to make some purple and then white a little red and then white to be uh, more red yeah I want it to be much more reddish or purple because it's an afternoon everyone there Yeah, maybe I want it to be very, very bright in color. So I have here, I add white and little, a little red to make it lighter. a little water because uh, my brush is a little rough there put some white I'm gonna put some red more white there I'm gonna make this part brighter and mistier I want to show that this is far then here everyone I want to put some lights but maybe later on yeah so we have now some mountains okay so here I'll try to put some lights so here I have some yellow and the red to make some orange and then I have white Also here, the house. There. And 
and then also here everyone here so I try to put some lights there maybe a little real wish So it's an afternoon also here. I'll try to put um, yeah some yellowish there because uh, it's afternoon, everyone. And also there. So I want everything to be very bright. And then also here. And then here about the okay try to put a little designs So here everyone, if you are painting me, just follow what I'm doing. There. And then also here. So I'm doing, I'm putting the light first. So that will be easy for me later on. Okay. We have now these colors, and then I'll be using this raw umber. Yeah, with a little white. Here, when I'm going to put something like it's cut. And also here. And in here. That's it. And then also I need to put lights here. So this will be a little complicated now, but I think you can do it. I'm going to put romper. I'm going to make this part dark. And then I'm gonna fill everything here. I forgot here everyone it should be light color. Uh, this color will be a little lighter. Lighter raw umber. Yeah, maybe in the chimney also. I'll put lights later. And then of course here I'll try to fill with the raw umber there okay 
at least we can see now some lights good lights again I'm gonna use this light uh, orange and I'm gonna put it here there okay yeah little one you can see clearly but it's now I'm still blocking the colors as of now so it will be a little complicated as you can see but I know that later I can you can see how it will look like okay so maybe here I'll try to put some pine trees on the on the back so I'll just use this same color and I have here the blue the red and a little yellow to make some dark green it's just a little bit more yellow and then red there it will be on the back of this so I'm going to put some leaves I like the small brush everyone because I can create a beautiful detail of the leaves. Here, we can make some more red. You can put some more red. Yeah, on the back of this. Maybe also here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think it looks good. Pine trees are looking good. At least I can see some trees there on the back. And also here, I think I need one more. Okay, and I will add a little white and yellow. Here. So everyone, even if uh, even in this part is not so much, you can just do like that. But you can see some pine trees there. there okay so at least uh, I can see some details on this on the back part of the houses or the village something like that okay so I will start now adding some details on the mountain so first I will try to use this umber and white Try to put some rocks. There, I want it to be 
lighter Okay, and then uh, white, mix it uh, with the existing colors. We'll put some little snow. Also here, also to put some lights. I want this part to be uh, lighter. That there should be light here. There. Okay. Maybe here a little. And then I'm going to use this blue and then white. Just blue and white you can create a tiny bluish, maybe a little red. And white. there okay I think that looks good now it looks pretty realistic yeah I'll try to uh, blend a little here one I'll try to make this part bright that uh, it's hit by the lights there okay so I'll be using some red and yellow to make some orange just red and yellow so it's dry, it's wet still wet you can blend a little yellow stone here because I want to create a little sun rays or sun lights here that it looks bright then I need to create an, an impression of this part Uh, I can see there that uh, it's turned a little brighter uh, red or something because uh, there's light on this part on this part of the, of the house okay so maybe on the top also I'll try to make it much more yellowish and in white maybe here As you can see, you can feel an impression that there is so much light on the back of this house. 
this light makes everything bright there so at least that part becomes really really bright yeah it looks like that there's something there I don't know what but there's the sun the 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 bright sun is the bright the bright sun is come from that part okay so here I will try to create now some details bright details for yeah, everything here so I'm gonna use this uh, light yellow or light orange with a little yellow Here, I'll try to put some highlights. little light here okay yeah I can put some lights also like this Okay, um, I'm gonna make, make it more orange. So this will be a pathway here everyone okay yeah as you can see now it's uh, much more clear uh, the details so it's important everyone that you will know where to put those details okay and then I will try to put some greenish color because uh, we have no green there so blue and yellow more yellow yeah it should be much more yellow green one maybe here i'll try to put some tree or some bushes also here Okay, I want to be a little yellowish. put some bushes here whatever there 
at least you can see now some colors just a little everyone I want to take time on this painting also I want to create I want this to become good okay yeah at least uh the spark there it's uh, clear now okay I want to wait better details on this part I want it to be good so here first I want to make it a little lighter blue amber red and white yellow and red Put some window, I mean doors. There, at least uh, it's a little clear. And also here, everyone. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll try this rumber with white. Yeah, I want to create tinier details in this part. So I'm using now a smaller brush. This one, everyone, is look like uh, uh, it's still part of the house. Uh, I will clear details on that later on. Yeah. And also here. Let to put the window. Door. On the top. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to put them um, door a uh, window there. So here. Okay.
so just dark tones everyone it will help get much more detailed it will create details on the on the houses or whatever we are putting there okay I also want to put chimney I'm gonna make it lighter okay yeah I think that looks pretty good now looks real so I want to create darks okay yeah and then before I forget about I need to put uh, highlights on the tree so I'll be using this uh, small brush again this uh, round number uh, double zero round brush or liner brush I'm gonna say use this one actually this is better because we can create detailed At least there's lights now. Also a little darker, more bluish, a little here on the back part. So actually, everyone, uh, if you use this one for the pine trees, this this uh, number one or zero double zero uh, brush, uh, can, it can create a really detailed uh, highlights. So here I'm going to put some highlights also on the on the branch on the what you call this uh what you call this uh tree trunk okay so yeah i think that looks good now i mean this part there yeah. you can see lights good lights on this part that's what um i am aiming to get those lights there so that it will become really look good looks like uh, old times okay so yeah I think that looks good now okay so I have here the umber I'm going to mix with a little blue yeah and here I want this part to be dark also here this are casted shadow everyone red and the blue Okay. Yeah. 
such as there was also here and also here so I am um, putting some dark shades first Okay, so you can see now everyone the details. Now I'm going to add more highlights. So I have here the yellow and the red. Again, we need some orange or much more yellowish. chimney also okay to put lights everyone meaning it doesn't been covered by this part okay so I'm going to continue I'm going to use this umber I'm going to make this part darker so I'm going to make this part uh, wait yeah maybe in mid of uh, mid of something like uh, wood or or maybe some something like uh, what they call this uh, a rock or something and the same with the first one and then I will try to put some window here So, as you can see, some window. I'm gonna make it a little taller. And also here on the top. Yeah. Okay, maybe I will make this so uh, concrete everyone everything here it will be a lot of work but I think it will be worth it I'll be using uh, maybe I will just use first this brush okay I'm going to use them white blue and the red it will be a little lighter purple uh, darker
Okay, so here. There. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, it looks uh, bluish now. Also here, everyone, I'm gonna make it a little bluish, but maybe later. Or not bluish, but uh, purple. And also here. Maybe here I will try to put a small window. a little darker here or I'm gonna use this raw umber to make everything here darker some parts Okay, and then umber and white. Here I'm gonna put dark color. This is a casted shadow, everyone, from this roof. Sorry, everyone, the dogs are starting to be noisy. Yeah, okay. At least I can see now some figures there, good figures. What else? So, here, everyone, let's, let's just try now. I'll be using now this brush, uh, the no, double zero nylon uh, round brush. You can also use uh, bigger than this, uh, number one zero or triple zeros okay so i have here the raw umber i'll start to put some details there okay so here i'm going to put some window So the window will be cut in half with the lights. So everyone if the dogs are really noisy. I don't know what happened to them. But I hope it will not distract you. There's noises there. And also here, some door. There. And then I have here the blue and the red. I'm going to darken this window here. This is just a small window, everyone. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna attach this window here. I'm gonna put some lights. There, okay. And in the door, everyone, it will be, I am maybe on the top. I need to put some. Okay. 
I need also to put some door, a window, I mean. Okay. There. I'm doing some details because this is made of wood. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use this uh, this is middle for everyone. I just put some details, yeah. I just put some details everyone that it will look like rocks. Okay. Then this is a wood here. Okay, and maybe I will make the door uh, red. A little orange. Maybe some blue amber to make it to make the paints off. There. Okay. It is now 1 hour and 21 minutes everyone and I'm still far from the truth. Okay, I'm going to add some white and yellow. More yellow. There. Okay. I'm going to put a little light for everyone. Maybe a little darker. Yeah. Okay, at least you can see that there's a little light there, and it is good. I'll try to use some white with a little yellow and red.
there. And then I will try to use some orange. Okay, not so orange everyone. Maybe much more yellowish. Okay. Now I will put something here on the front. Uh, maybe light, a little lighter yellowish. Make sure that you use a thin brush, everyone, or pointed brush or round brush like this. Maybe here. There, okay. Okay, so that's it everyone. You can see now that it's very, very good, especially in the front of that house. I also like it and it's bright there. Yeah, so I'm going to add more, uh, I think, highlights uh, just to make this much more beautiful and realistic. So first, I'm going to use this umber. Okay, so with everyone, I'm going to turn off. Okay. So here I'll try, to, I'm going to put some uh, darks or dark tones or raw umber. Just plain raw umber I can put. Not just there, but also here. Uh, so the chimney. And in here, some shades or lights. There. 
not just there everyone but wait I'm going to mix on a little white Okay, and then this white with the womber. Yeah, just womber everyone. I'm going to find the details here. Create a finer or smaller details of the of the roof. Uh, it's an old kind of roof, everyone. there so again uh, lighter yellow lighter orange I'm going to highlight here for the chimney also on the top here there not just there everyone but I also need to put it here So I'll do like that, a little fade away. There. As long as it's bright, everyone, it'll be good. Also here. Okay. At least those lights there is very, really, really good. It looks pretty good and realistic. Yeah. And also the window run before I forget. Uh, I have here the light bomber. It's lighter. It should be. It should be dark, not so light. And also here. Can create a little details. Okay, maybe I will try to put it right there. Uh, yellow for this part. Because it's sunset everyone and it's facing to the sunset. And then the other one will be bluish. A little lighter or bluish or purple. I'm going to put more yeah, darks, lights, especially in the bottom part, everyone. So I need to make this uh, so much believable that it will look like it will look realistic. Okay, so here I'll try to make some darks. So I'll be using bigger brush, number medium size flat brush is number eight. Umber. So this will be the
I'm going to refill some raw umber. Raw umber, blue and red to make some darks. Sorry, but I want to also this here. Let's make it dark. And also here. I'll try to put something or anything here. Okay, and now I will put now the lights. I'm excited with the lights. So here again, yellow and the red. More yellow. And then white. Yeah, and we, put, we can make it a little orange here. This is the lights hitting this part. And this is the pathway here. There, okay. Okay, and now I'll be using some purple, so blue and uh, red. It should be a lot more reddish purple, everyone, so put more red and white. So here. There, I think more red. Okay, at least you can see a little purples there. And also here, just there. I think it will rain everyone. So it's gonna be noisy. Hopefully it, it will not rain. I will stop making there 
Uh, I'll try to put something here like a wood. Just a wood, everyone, and the woods. Okay. Yeah. And I think I will try to put more yeah, some shades to umber, I think. So here I will try to put some shadows. And here one, I'll try to put more. Okay, so I think I will add more details here. I'll make this uh, look more realistic. But I think I need to put something like uh, brushes. So it will not be complete without those things everyone, grasses, bushes, yeah, so I'll use a uh, bristle flat brush, yeah, this is good for making some grass. I have here blue, a little yellow, and then red, a little white, and yellow there there I want I want to put more greenish here Just use the topping technique. Yeah, I'm going to add more blue and white. I know see here I need to put a little bluish here. There. Can also put some grasses. There. Not just here everyone but also here. Try to put some uh, different bushes, but I will keep this part dark, everyone. You can also use the fan brush if you want. I always use the fan brush, I use put the fan brush as part of the list because I can also always use that. Little the grass is here. There, and I will try to put more yellowish stone, yellowish highlights, maybe here. Uh, 
Okay. I think it will rain again. And then here. Put some glasses also here, everyone. Okay, and here. And then here. There, so at least you can see those lights here that it was has been hit by the sun. Okay, yeah, and then I will continue retouching on this part. I just try to use some blue umber here. Try to put more details, shades. I want this uh, to be look muddy or there are muds on this uh, on this uh, pathway everyone or road or the dirt road something something like that So this one, everyone, we're gonna make it like a wood here, on the side of the pathway. So here, umber and the, I oh know, I mean blue and the red, to make some darks. Yeah. Okay, I will use a smaller brush now, everyone. This. I have here blue umber and the red. And of course, yellow also. And then white. More blue umber. Yeah, just a pile of woods there. I just want to emphasize something like that. Uh, a little lighter, umber with white and the blue with red to make it much more like purple and white. Make it a little lighter. There. 
Okay. Yeah, I will try to put some more details like uh, maybe here. Yeah, some tiny details, everyone like woods, you know, or maybe here. tiny details I like to put a lot of details in everywhere and also here and maybe there's some wood here and they put like that And also everyone I'm gonna use this uh, reddish brown I'm gonna put it here There, just a little brownish and I'll just uh, put more retouch and I think I will be finished I think every everything around is uh, uh, all the details are uh, all the details look good I like it and looks pretty really old all the things there looks old and I will keep on adding some retouch and I think I'll be finished in a few minutes there okay yeah I will put more lights yellow and white here maybe a little red because I want this part to be really look bright Okay, more white. There, at least it's very bright that part everyone and the contrast is good. Uh, I really like to emphasize this contrast and anything that will make it look realistic okay I want to put more uh, plants here maybe some grasses here I'm using this uh, brush everyone it's a uh, it's the 
flat brush uh, the smallest flat brush yeah I will just try to put some small plants here and maybe some grasses also Just a few grasses now here, or bushes or other plants using this brush, everyone. There, okay, and also a little lighter here. I want to try to put some, to create some, some rocks there. It looks like uh, something like that a little more details also here Okay, and one more everyone. I'm going to use this bluish color. Just a, a tiny we touch to make it to make the color shiny. Okay. Okay, so a little more maybe some not so much yellowish but it will be a little yellowish to create some grasses there okay okay everyone so I think I am done um, everything looks good I like the lights there I can see the good lights on the far uh, it took me almost two hours maybe two hours I'm not sure <laughs> but uh, I'm not um, for me everything uh, everything was uh, worth it everything looks good and and I like everything there that I put there I like the details I like all what we see it looks pretty old times the houses are, are looking old I like it and I like the lights also I like the brightness and the depths I like it okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in palette because i want you to learn how to, how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like add some comments subscribe for more videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and god be sure all the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.